Kinases and phosphatases add or remove the 5' phosphate as indicated with the pink arrow. DNAs that are the products of endonucleases have a single 5' phosphate. Synthetic oligonucleotides have a clean 5' hydroxyl. Molecular biology protocols often require ligase, which requires 5' phosphates. Sometimes it is useful to make a DNA available or not available for ligation in a reaction, and this phosphorylation state can be changed with kinases and phosphatases. Additionally, some exonucleases require a 5' phosphate, and thus the degradability of a DNA can be altered by these enzymes. The most commonly used class of phosphatases are the alkaline phosphatases. They catalyze the hydrolysis of phosphate esters nonspecifically. So these enzymes are used outside the context of DNA manipulation. For example, you can react an alkaline phosphatase with paranitrophenylphosphate and release a yellow pigment that can be detected photometrically. The enzyme will act on any exposed nucleic acid phosphates such as the 5' ends of nucleotides or polynucleotides. These enzymes are very common in nature and they come from both prokaryotic and animal sources. The oldest, cheapest, and most well-known enzyme is calf intestine alkaline phosphatase, or CIP. The name means what it implies. It is a phosphatase originally isolated from calf intestine. It is often used to prevent reclosure of the ends of a vector digested with restriction enzymes. It can also be used to destroy DNTPs in a reaction mixture. Shrimp alkaline phosphatase can be easily heat killed, but is otherwise the same as CIP. One useful protocol for automating sample generation for cycle sequencing is called ExoSAP, where you take a PCR reaction and degrade the unreacted primers and DNTPs by digestion with SAP and exonuclease 1. At the end of that treatment, you can heat kill these enzymes and send the sample for sequencing. Antarctic phosphatase is a newer version of the heat killable alkaline phosphatase. It's claimed to be even more heat labile. Some reactions that are used to manipulate DNAs are thermodynamically reversible. For example, T7 RNA polymerase will start degrading RNA if pyrophosphate accumulates in the reaction. Pyrophosphate is two phosphates linked together and is often also called inorganic pyrophosphate, or sorry, inorganic phosphate. For reactions that release pyrophosphate, the reactions can be made irreversible by addition of inorganic pyrophosphatase, or IPP. IPP is a ubiquitous housekeeping enzyme used to drive things to completion in live cells. There is also a thermostable version of IPP for use in high temperature reactions such as PCRs, though typically you do not use this reaction in a PCR. T4 polynucleotide kinase transfers a single phosphate to the 5' hydroxyl of an RNA or DNA from ATP. It is the gamma phosphate of ATP, the terminal one, that gets transferred. The enzyme is most commonly used to phosphorylate synthetic oligonucleotides so that they can be the substrates for ligase reactions. It works best on single-stranded DNAs and is thus often used to radio-label DNAs using gamma-32P labeled ATP.